It's when you begin, you don't know what you can do and cannot do, uh, or what your strengths are or your weaknesses are, even though you believe you know that. Um, so that uh, the knowledge of uh, being able to tell what you can do with confidence and uh, also um, just being a much faster artist like I think speed is pretty important when you start you're pretty slow and now I can produce the same work in a much sort of like faster speed basically yeah so that's pretty important and also the ability to sort of like manage myself a lot better um, just understanding what what I can produce with what amount of time that I have. Um, being able to confidently be able to assess yourself, um, I think that's a gain as well. I do lots of different um, jobs in this industry now, so uh, to be honest, my favorite is uh, story. I love being in story. Uh, I love the process of story development and being uh, the first person to uh, make the script into visual and um, that's a process that I enjoy the most. In terms of animation, I enjoy the first uh, pass, uh, the rough animation, because it's all about performance. Um, and also I actually enjoy tie down quite a lot, uh, so actually tying down the full animation so therefore uh, we have, uh, I can finally visually see um, the final animation so that's quite enjoyable as well. The boring aspect, um, okay so going into story, I think uh, when the story starts to, the storyboarding process um, is coming towards the end. Um, most of the sequences are set, um, but there are always kind of fixes, and they're small fixes, and that becomes a little bit tedious and boring. Um, in terms of animation, um, the boring element, Sometimes uh, when it's more technical than performance, that's when I find it quite boring. Um, I, I like making characters act, so when it's just less acting, more technical, then I find it quite boring. Um, <laughs> in general, I don't really enjoy doing layout, although I do do it. Uh, layout is a really technical process, so in comparison to story and animation, I don't enjoy it that much. Proud of. I think it's not about what my work is. Um, it's about sort of like, I'm proud of being part of that team. Um, so I'm proud of being part of more or less every project that I've done because, um, yeah, you, you're proud of the fact that you took part in a great creative team. Uh, a lot of the times um, I'm surrounded by fantastic artists and you feel proud to be able to be working uh, with that person professionally. So yeah, those are the moments I actually feel proud of, uh, not particularly because of my work. Yeah. All of my directors and supervisors I find quite inspiring and also fellow artists in the team. Um, I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I am in quite um, ambitious kind of Hollywood projects um, and those tend to attract a lot of um, uh, prestigious sort of like well-known artists so to be able to work with the, those people is very inspiring but um, in terms of influence outside that I haven't worked for um, in terms of film directors I, I think uh, Ridley Scott's work is very inspiring to me Kubrick of course insanely inspiring um, uh, as much as Kurosawa um, but yeah, a lot of live action film directors, I must say, more than animation. Uh, I, I did work on Aladdin, but now I'm at Warner Brothers on something else, but it's live action again, yeah.
Yeah, it's it's a new kind of field that I'm going into with live action. However, um, strangely enough, my work doesn't feel new. I feel as though I'm using all the skills that I gained throughout the industry, um, even on live action, simply because I don't actually even call it live action. I call them hybrid projects. And we all call it hybrid projects, like within the industry as well nowadays because it's just not live action alone anymore. Um, there's so much animation in live action film as well. So um, my job doesn't change, but it's, it's really fun to be able to work um, with live action sets because when you visit the sets, you turn into a child. You're in, you're in a magical new world. Um, so yeah, that's always the perk of working on sort of like films that have live action elements to it. Um, so yeah, um, it's a new field that I'm stepping into, but I, I just simply think it's it's a natural progress because um, it's it's not me who opened the path. It was the industry that started moving in that direction and opened opportunities for artists like us. So it's a very, I'm in a very fortunate time, yeah. I, I do sort of like draw for myself, um, but I don't, I don't really make animation for myself at, at the moment, um, but I still do life drawing, uh, I still sketch, and that's kind of my little side project for myself, I guess, um, so yeah. Those kind of things I still do, but I, I, I don't go into developing films or anything like that. Maybe one day I will do, yeah.